done. Deep breaths, my darling. Waves are crashing. We are still far from shore. Know that I've got you. She's at peace now, don't you think? What's the matter with Anita? Easy, Doris. Nothing's wrong with her. I just thought it rude to leave an old lady in distress. I have a feeling that particular lady knows how to take care of herself. <laughs> we did it, y'all! We spark and did it! <laughs> well, look at these... weeds. Solid stuff. I've never walked on ground that wasn't rock or sand. You did well, all of you. Eventually. And without you, my dear girl, we never would have made it. I saw right away that she was made of the right stuff. Bravest little pirate there ever was. Isn't she, Doris? <sighs> Sigrid. You've done such... <sighs> Why can't I just do this? Grandma, I... No, I have to do this. <sighs> when Iris was a kid, John always took care of the mushy stuff. But when he wasn't around anymore and we lost Iris, when it was just you and me, I didn't know how to handle my own feelings, much less yours. I put a roof over your head, fried some herring for dinner, and wiped your nose. But the rest... I just couldn't... I... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Shrimpy. You didn't only feed me. You taught me how to use a wrench. And a hammer. And a blowtorch. Not sure you can say you've learned to use something when you've almost burned the house down with it a few weeks ago. You might be right about that. Uh, I guess we'll have to keep practicing. Both that and the mushy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, what do we do now, now, now that we won? This isn't a victory. It's a second chance. The girl is right. This is where the real work begins. We have ground to walk upon, but we need to learn how to cultivate it without depleting it. The rifts are sealed, but we still have to get rid of the rest of that wretched gloom. How long will it take to fix this? When will everything be back to normal? 
there's no fixed, dear. And I don't think any one of us knows what normal is anymore. It's a lifetime's work. What we end up with, only time can tell. As long as no new fools come around and start ruining things, I'm sure we can keep things in order. <sighs> Untie me, you wretched cretin. I demand to be released. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir, but if you just allow me to... Word from Candle Hill. Seems the plants are growing there, too. Apparently, a big stem of some kind has pierced right through the canteen. Get some rest, folks. Then we have work to do. <laughs> <laughs>